Don't worry, guys. The music is back. Hello, chat. Happy Saturday or Sunday, depending on your time zone. How are we doing today? Guys, would you love Hangman for DVD? What is DVD? Oh, I'll tell you, buddy. Dead by Daylight. Epic horror game. Made by BHVR. Legendary company. <sighs> the Game Awards are just, just a few days away now, right? I might actually co-stream that. Are you guys ready for the eventual Yakuza announcement? Now, what that announcement is gonna be is... Uh, up for theorizing. Get ready for the thir 30 million Chuckies. Well, I don't have to deal with Chuckies if I'm the killer, do I now? I'm probably gonna play both Killer and Survivor today. I will see how that goes. Because um, I do need to finish up with the Rift as well. I've not played as much as I used to before. I'm like halfway through the Rift now, aka the Battle Pass for those who don't know. <clears throat> Alright. Hello everybody, welcome. It's been it's been a hot minute. Have you guys voted for your favorite games at the Game Awards? Yeah, the Game Awards seems like it's gonna be crazy this time around. Uh, Sega's gonna announce something big, allegedly. Let me find the picture actually, hold on. Um, so they sent out these like letters or invitations to content creators, uh, which just says tune into the Game Awards. There's going to be an announcement from us. <clears throat> uh, you can access the Discord from any non-stream video in the description. The link is down there. Uh, hold on, where? Man, I don't know if I'm going to find it now. Oh, there we go. So, someone sent me this. This is the card that they sent out to people. Yeah, and apparently it's mostly fighting uh, game content creators. So, maybe it's gonna be Virtual Fighter 6. I've seen people talking about that. Which, if they announce that, that's cool. Um, I've never honestly been a big Virtual Fighter fan, so... I don't know how that's gonna be for me, but it might be... Uh, they might step up their game quite a bit to compete with, like, Tekken or Street Fighter, who knows. Yeah, Maximilian got one. Uh, and a bunch of other people. What if they add, like, guest characters and they're just Kiryu and Majima? That would be awesome. And I mean, I think it's easy for them as well, since, you know, same company. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. You think that add a Yakuza character to Virtual Fighter? Very possible, yeah. Because uh, they had a whole like costume pack DLC, I think, or five, which came pretty late, but it's pretty cool, regardless. 
Idea 5 came out in 2006 and they kept re-releasing it. Yeah, it's crazy to think that uh, it came out that long ago. <clears throat> it's suffering from the Last of Us Syndrome. Remaster after remaster. If you, well, if you want to call it remaster. I think it was just mostly ports even for Virtual Fighter. I always hope they do another one of the Sega Racing games. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool, I think, whenever, whatever they announce. Virtual Fighter has its fans. The racing games have their fans. Um, yeah, I do know about that pack weeping. Pretty cool as well. I played the F5, it was cool, but I liked Tekken better. Honestly, same. I'm just... And it's not because Virtual Fighter is bad, it's just I grew up with Tekken. So that's really uh, the reason more than anything else. But, you know... They could do a lot with the uh, Virtual Fighter 6. <clears throat> do I have the phone? Yes, I do. Thank you for the flop, Eileen. Thank you. I've always been a Mortal Kombat guy. I have a friend who's a big, big Mortal Kombat nerd. Um, and I tried to get into Mortal Kombat as much as with Tekken, but I couldn't really. Yo, Ablo CD, welcome. I haven't played DVD in a couple of weeks, did not expect to see this. Well, welcome. <laughs> For better or worse, I hope uh, you have a good time. I know DVD is not always a good time when you play it, but... Yeah, let's see how you're doing. Oh yeah, uh, is GTA going to be during the day of uh, TGA? Or is it going to be after? No, it's going to be before, right? Like a day before? If I remember right, on the 6th? Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, that that's also... I mean, the Game Awards this time around, is just it seems like it's going to be huge. More, more so than usual. Capcom maybe also might announce something. Who knows? If they announce the next remake um, during this event, it's going to be huge. Spike out. Some aloof. Nice, let's see. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna play uh, Killer first, and then if anyone wants to join for Survivor, you guys are more than welcome to. Uh, hold on. Spike out Min Sega, huh, Sabina? Mad hyped for infinite wealth. Nice. Yo, thank you for the 15 months, Sina. Thank you. By the way, the alert sounds are fixed, right? Because I think when I tried to stream uh, last time or the one before, there were no alert sounds, and I tried. I didn't know what was wrong. But I think it should be good now. Man, ever since I upgraded my PC, it's been all over the place with streaming. I think it should be good. Okay, that was sound. Okay, thank you, thank you. Because, yeah, uh, it's not just the alerts. It's, um... If you have tuned in the last stream, there was a massive delay issue, and I don't know why it happened. Because uh, I did try to kind of uh, mess around with the OBS settings. It's probably the reason, but... I kind of wish I knew exactly what it was. Uh, Yo, Eternal? Yeah, 5k hours in DVD. Unfortunately. <laughs> five fucking... Uh, 5,000 hours. In this shithole. Okay, let me make sure the chat is also here. There we go. Hi, chat. Look, you're down here. Um, okay, I think this is all good. Okay, welcome, fellas. Dead by Daylight. Um, 
if you don't know what this game is, like, you have no idea whatsoever. Zero. You don't, like, you never heard of Dead by Daylight. It's an asymmetrical online game where you play as a killer or you play as a survivor. The, the killer's objective is to kill the survivors and the survivors have to survive. Um, the killer is solo against four survivors. A story prediction or wishlist for Yakuza 8. Thank you, thank you to you, God. Speaking of... Uh, at this point, I just want Dead Souls ported to PS5. I was same, buddy. Same. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, for those who want, uh, like, specific Yakuza videos, like predictions and whatnot, I forgot to mention this. I have two collabs coming. One, one is gonna be on my channel, and the other is gonna be on someone else's channel. Um, I saw a lot of you really enjoyed the podcast, so... There's gonna be something like it, let's say. Have you guys seen the new trickster? Oh yeah, Peter Griffin in fucking Fortnite. I heard about that. Now we just need Kiryu. And the gang is complete. Imagine Majima as a killer in DVD. I've seen people saying this guy should get a Majima legendary skin. Because, well, he wields a bat and he throws knives. Then they buffed the hell out of Trickster. They did, but then they kind of backtracked a little bit. And now he feels a bit, like, clumsy to play. Because they basically made him way slower with the knives. It just doesn't feel the same. Like, pre-buff, he actually used to feel better, I think. But I played only one match with him. No Trickster? Yeah, he got a change. So, the biggest change is that he's now... 115% speed. He used to be 110. Um, and I think the Terra Radius is... But yeah, it's bigger now because of that. But... Um, what else did they... Oh yeah, there's no recoil when you throw the blades, so you don't have to worry about that. But again, the throw speed is... Uh, very slow, compared to before at least. Um... What else was there? Oh yeah, you get main event only after 8 blades. It used to be like, what, 30? And now it's just like, oh, 8 blades. But, you would think that's too OP, but it's not. Because, um, well, it lasts uh, for, for less if you don't use it. And also, main event itself is actually slower. Hi dude, this channel was deleted. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I think there's false claims going on. But also, I think it might be because people have been uploading Yakuza 8 soundtracks, which is risky. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna get my fucking shit kicked. Oh shit, that, that's a meme build. Uh, what's it called? Scorch hook. No! Ah! Uh, me and my big fucking mouth. I forgot what that perk even did. <laughs> God damn it. I was looking for pain resonance, not... Oh, this will have to do. Yeah, the, the aim was to make him, like, able to traverse the map quicker, and also just feel better to play in general. Which... If you were to ask me, it's like they took two steps forward, but then, like, two steps back. If not, even more steps back. Uh, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Yo, Alex. Yeah, uh, all of the soundtrack was in the fucking Gaiden files for some reason. Uh, or the Infinite Wealth demo files, to be specific. And it's just so weird that they included all of that. Like, why? I know you guys like to keep leftovers in your files, which is uh, a recurring thing that... Uh, that happens with, like, a lot of the older games, but... I don't know. Yeah, they did nerf uh, Made for this. Now it only works if you're, uh... Uh, what's it called? If you have Deep Wound. 
I do wonder if they just th didn't think people would data mine it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you would think they would think about that, but, like, I generally don't know. Okay. Trickster in Haddonfield. I love Lethal Pursuer. You don't have to waste your time looking for people. Yo, Derek, thank you, buddy. It kind of feels surreal that he's 115% speed now. Steve? Oh, he has life. That saved him. Steve? Oh, there he is. Yeah, at this point you can just fucking use the bat. Thank you for the 21 months, Mr. Devil. My pookie bear, Steve. <laughs> Hello, yeah, this is Dead by Daylight. I don't know what I was doing there, but. Dude, they all have life. <laughs> oh my god. But then again, I think there's actually a challenge for this rift, so that makes sense. Oh, in an, in an open field against Trickster? Bruh. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention. He needs eight blades now to down people, instead of six. So, uh, you have to work more for uh, a down, basically, with the uh, ability. <laughs> There's someone here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let me actually just... I thought she was gonna help her, but I guess not. Uh, actually, you know what? In that case, I'm gonna go reload. Uh, those knives are so annoying to deal with, at least for me. No, I think it's for you and many people. They just are. Like, there's no sugarcoating it. I basically have her trapped now. Just gotta wait for the ability. That's the good thing about Trix 3, you can just, like... Dude, I can't... I'm so fucking blind. <laughs> but yeah, at short loops, you basically can't do anything against them. I don't... Trust people who don't like playing against Trickster, really. People usually see Trickster as a very toxic killer. Oh, yeah, wait, I have a purple glyph challenge, I think. You gotta look for that. I'm the kind of person who prioritizes the challenge over the match. But, uh, you know. Hey, buddy. Nice, cute little crouch there. Oh god, singularity, no thank you. See the mind game? Wait, I think someone walked behind me. Oh, 
Man, these loops are not good for this guy. I think someone just fell down. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, both windows are blocked now. Wait. What? I'm so bad sometimes. <laughs> so I got. Okay, where the hell did she go? One of my main issues in this game is that I I have difficulties leaving a chase if it's taking too long. Hey, buddy. Right. I forgot. Also, main event is way shorter now. So there is that. I just, you know, I kind of miss the very speedy feel that this guy has. He doesn't feel as fast anymore, funnily enough. Because, like, if, if you... Like, th there was very little room for survivors to really do something about uh, being, like, in point-blank range against you. But then again, maybe that's why they wanted to do all of this. Nice. It just... I don't like it! He feels so slow in main event. I don't like it. Oh, she's dead already? Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw the Street Fighter 6 outfit pack. Holy shit, dude. Actually, dead or alive DLC. <laughs> I have... Oh, there's the thing. Gotta go for that. Th they can win. I don't fucking care. I just... I want to make sure I get progress done with that challenge. I think Steve is downstairs. Yes, he is. Costs like 300 coins instead of 50. Wait, are uh, uh, are the number two outfits or whatever they called are they 50? And then outfit three uh, stuff is uh, 300. Is that how it is? Yo, Bruno. Hell yeah. Wait, what the? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, the mech probably is gonna escape, which is... It's okay, I mean... We did really good. Better than I thought we would. I'm assuming the Meg is gonna be at that second gate. <laughs> Do you like Japanese Majima or English Majima? Um, I mean... You have someone who did Majima his whole life, and then you have someone who did Majima... in like the last two games. It's a very obvious pick for most people. But I mean, you know... I'm not very picky with that stuff. What exactly does the main event do? Um, you are gonna keep throwing blades until the thing runs out. And you don't have to worry about how many blades you have, it's infinite, basically. 
I don't remember that, Jario, but I think I heard about it. Somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, yo, New York Samurai. I think you're like the third person today to say I didn't know you play DVD. Welcome, welcome. Look at Wesker, baby. Mm. Really liking the side drama. Yeah, he's a good fit. Daigo feels a little weird. Pretty sure it's not Roger Craig Smith anymore. Like, I think Daigo's voice is deeper than Saijima, even. Hell yeah, Samurai. Yo, Lion Tamer. There's another person saying the same thing. Am I a killer main? No. I play both sides. But most of the time that I play killer is just to do the challenges. I try to do all of them. Is this Andre Richardson? Yes. Worst part about the coins in uh, SF6 is because the Japanese law, you don't use them in time, you lose them. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a... That's a yikers. Man, Street Fighter 6 was amazing. You know, the Walter mode is... Like, just... 10 out of 10. But... That only applies to Japan as far as I know. It's fine outside of it. What? Why does Japan always get shafted, dude? It's not even funny at this point. Man. <laughs> like between the new game plus stuff for Yakuza and then this. Holy shit. Yo, Kamoruta. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what, uh, what's his name? Uh, someone just said, just like, a couple minutes ago. Welcome. Wait. Oh, I have an anti-healing build. Ah, I mean, you know what, why not? I swear to god. Are you guys, like, in the same Discord group in a call right now? Just laughing your asses off? <laughs> we'll tell him again. Hey, John! Tell him he didn't know <laughs> he played DVD, too. A map offering, huh? Japan has crazy laws. Someone got arrested for streaming a visual novel. Yikes. <laughs> Man. Ow. <laughs> if Monday, Black Monday got into bioweapons, yeah. But yeah, that, that's... Man. That's just insane, like... Ever been to Japan? No. Yo, Leon, didn't know you played DVD? That's awesome! Thank you, buddy, thank you. I get that all the time. And by all the time, I mean today. Richardson is my favorite Yakuza villain. Based. <clears throat> Mm. Nintendo struck down its own sponsored streamer. That is scary. Okay, first thing we want to do, probably, is uh, take down that wall. It's annoying. It's probably better to get her to that side. <laughs> she kind of knows what she's doing. 
<laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's so fun as certain killers like Wesker or Deathslinger to kind of rope survivors and to go in a certain way and like they get really uh, confused. Hey buddy. Yeah, that, that would have gotten him down. Okay, our thing is there. Gotta go get that at some point. Let me actually break this down. Buddy? Oh, he went upstairs. Smart. <laughs> Eight weeks left for infinite wealth. Can you imagine? That, that is so insane. I'm gonna go pressure those two. That generator is, uh... You know, those, the talk about the restrictions in Japan kind of makes me hope uh, that stuff is going to be, you know, the New Game Plus for 8 is going to be only in Japan. But at the same time, man, I feel so bad for them. Like, the things you guys have to put up with. Dead Heart? Too bad you won't make it much further. Hey, buddy. Dude, what? performance indeed. What are these guys doing? Are you guys okay? Uh oh. Flashlight? Flashbang. They're gonna have problems healing that dude. Because of my build. I'll see you dead! She's a memer. <laughs> you can't die forever. What a silly little goose. <laughs> Yeah, I like when Survivor's meme as well. <laughs> yeah, Wesker has an amazing theme. I love it. I got- oh shit, they're over there. Allow me to introduce my build. Get a skill check. Get a skill check. Oh fuck, they actually managed to heal. Okay, Nancy is on the last hook. I might not go for her. Or maybe I will. <laughs> Nancy? I know you're here. Oh, the thing. Okay, this this thing saved them, I think. Assuming they go for the... Oh, there's the guy. Nice, dead heart. <laughs> 
Look at this person. They think I can't see them, but I can. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Barbecue can be surprisingly okay sometimes. Uh, if you don't know what barbecue is, it's a perk that allows you to see survivors far away when um, you hook someone. Uh, there's going to be a lot of lingo for Dead by Daylight, so just bear with me. I'm going to try to explain stuff as I go. Hey, buddy. Wow, that was gr great timing, actually. Wow. Assuming that was dead hard. I'm not sure if it was, actually. We got him! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Flashback players are uh, top quality meme. Now, this is. Um, I streamed Dead by Daylight multiple times before. Okay, where are they? I need to break this pallet. Oh, they're healing. I gotta introduce myself again. Hello? My terror radius to say hello. Now fail, please. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, that log blocked me. I think they're all on the final hook now. <laughs> Is that all you <laughs> oh wow, they actually saved her. Huh? Hey buddy. Oh shit. Oh, okay. That was a good try though. You will not live to see the dawn. Okay, yeah, we know where to go now. Yeah. Hello? Oh, I think I see them. Oh, there's a lot of pallets here. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna respect the next one if they get to it. I feel like they'll... Or maybe that works too. Sometimes the mind games pay off. And other times they make you look like a fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> we have a visual. Oh. Do they have... What's it called? I'm gonna pretend not to know. <laughs> yes, she does. I didn't have time. Oh, oh, close enough. If she finds Hatch, GG. <laughs> She still has a couple of pallets around here. <laughs> no! Oh, I still didn't have the thing ready. Fuck. Oh, the thing is here. LED? Oh, there she is. I don't know, should we spare her? What does chat think? Kill or no? I think she's still upstairs. She wants to head on me again. I know you're there. I know you're there. 
Come on out. <laughs> we can do this all day. I don't mind waiting here. I know the feeling of just missing a hatch. Yeah, same. She got me, like, what, twice this match with uh, the stun? <laughs> wow, chat really doesn't like showing mercy. There's no point in hiding. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let's take her to a uh, gate. Yeah, she stopped struggling. She understood. Okay, I just hope she has enough time to actually unlock the thing. Because uh, it's not looking good. Come on, will she? You've really become quite an Oh boy, let's see. I think she will have time, yeah. She, she will. I love having games like this. I mean, in general, I uh, I love to farm with survivors. Just, you know, sometimes you'll get to matches where they don't just not want to farm with you, they want to shit all over you. And then you're like, okay, fuck you guys. <laughs> Gonna go sweaty. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There we go, that's one finished. Mm, let's do one from here. One time it was nice to let me to every single pilot in RPD. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna be playing with viewers soon. I just want to play a few uh, killer games, or several. Is it easier to be a killer or a survivor? You would think killer is easy because you know you're the killer, you're like the the, the big dog in the room. But no. <laughs> um. There. Basically, neither. Like, like you could absolutely destroy a survivor, but playing a survivor also relies on how. Or it depends on how good your teammates are. But then, if you play as killer and you go up against like the best team in the world, you, you'll you, <laughs> you will want to uh, bash your head against the wall. But you know, it, it just depends. It's difficult to answer that. Um. Yo, Nexus. You know, I talked about farming just uh, just now, and I want to talk about this since the topic came up. Can I just say I absolutely hate the percentage of people who not only refuse to farm, but they report you for it. It's like, dude, sheesh, I'm sorry for trying to have fun, you know? Like, imagine being so sweaty, you go out of your way to report someone who just wants to, like, spend one match farming amidst, like, a hundred matches of, like, sweaty people. Um, now granted, maybe depending on the region, you have more farmers, but from what I see, it's like tunneling all the time or like brain dead survivors with me all the time. So I just don't see why you don't uh, accept the farm and move on. <laughs> What's farming? Uh, you go into a match, for example, ask killer, you go, you go into a match and you don't kill survivors, but you want to get the most points possible and then you let them escape. So, in this game, that would entail hooking everyone twice, and then, like, using your power, you know, stuff like that, chasing survivors, but then you let them go. Took a big break from the game, and coming, since coming back, the community seems a lot nicer. That's good to hear. Um, yo, Leon, wanna be toxic in VC? <laughs> Thank you, I'm good. Um... 
who do we want to play now? Absolute unit. Mm -hmm. I have like 40 hours in the game and I have... I haven't heard that name, uh, that term. I thank you for the 11 months, Jario. Hell yeah, almost the whole year. I don't want to put a damper on your playtime, but this game, unfortunately, is a game where a few hundred hours don't mean that much. Well, okay, maybe that's a little too much, but this is a game where you have you need to have at least like half a thousand hours to really have a decent understanding of the game and like a lot of the stuff about it um, like I've seen people in the community consider people with less than a thousand hours like people who like they don't know how to play to them basically which is you know kind of harsh I have over 2,000 hours, most of that is due to wait times. Yeah, like right now, look at this. <clears throat> what are my perks? Oh, I have a... Uh... Hmm... Sadako? You know, I kinda don't like the new Sadako. Um, she has a very sweaty playstyle to her. Um, you have to rely on teleporting every chance you get. It's not fun, in my opinion. Sadly, because I like Sadako. That's the problem with most, if not <clears throat> all, live service games. Love DVD, but it's hard convincing my friends to play. Yeah. Uh, they changed how she plays? Yes. Uh, now she's basically more reliant on trying to get everyone condemned and then insta-killing them after that. So you don't even want to hook people, you just want to keep teleporting. Because now teleporting anytime will increase the gauge for everyone. Oh, these... Oh no. <laughs> if you know, you know. Hey, maybe, maybe they're professionals and we're just judging by the cover, you know? Maybe. You never know. Um... I don't, maybe, you know, maybe it's because I got curb stomped, like, as Nemesis a lot, and now I'm against, the uh, potentially newbies. Hmm, ah, let me put that. <clears throat> Actually, let me put... That. Hmm. One thing that I hate about this game, which I heard someone else talk about recently, and I really agree with it. Just, the fact that they fix so little in a big amount of time is ridiculous. I don't think they have an excuse anymore. Holy shit, RPD and the uh, Ellen map. They really want to go to maps. Like, have you guys seen the recent roadmap they put out? In like the next, what, six months? They plan to change, what, eight perks? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's a lot of depth to the game. Felt like the loop is a little too simple, but I wonder... Oh, yes, there's a lot to know. Um, at first, you know, th this is a game that is not too difficult to get into, but there's a lot to know. There, Absolutely, there's a lot to know. Oh, yeah, the title of the stream is dedicated to that. Um, you'll get to a level eventually where, like, small percentages of speed from perks or add-ons will make all the difference. And you will rely on those. I mean, it doesn't have to be like that, but, you know. 
Um, if you go up against people who play as efficiently as possible, then you might also want to kick it up a notch. How do you think they're going to change three gens or they're just going to add an extra gen? That sounds like a very be behavior-like uh, solution. It is something they would do. It's like how they changed Deja Vu to give you a speed boost with the three closest generators together. Yo, RPD! Now we're talking. Right at home. Okay. We have like two people up there. And... She thinks I don't know, but I know. What? Dude, I hate the tentacle. I hate it. Oh my god. <laughs> Nemesis is like one of the killers that unintentionally makes me sweat so much. Just because of the tentacle. I hate it. Oh, get her, zombie. Fuck it, just punch her. Oh, get her, zombie, get her! Oh, slow vault. Okay. You know what? I can't uh, destroy it with a tentacle yet. Okay. Oh. A little too late. Is that the Leon? It is the Leon. Oh my god. Dude, Leons in this game are uh, <laughs> a unique breed, let's say. That actually worked. Nice. Buddy. We can, <laughs> we can stay here all day long. Oh no. Maybe not. Look, the zombie, the zombie is camping. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, he's still there. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Leon, buddy. I mean, honestly, there's not much you can do in this situation. But the fact that he stayed there when he was completely healthy and didn't run away. Um... Oh, I thought someone helped him already. I was like, wait, what? Look. Nemesis is kind of... Like, w when you see zombies reaching out for someone, that means someone is nearby. So they give you information, which is pretty handy. That zombie is just walking, so there's probably no one there. Meg? <laughs> Leon, what are you doing? Man, this, this kind of goes without saying, but... Well, I don't even know how it... Dwight, dude, look at these people. Buddy? Okay, oh, this guy must have just bought the game. What the hell? Or maybe he was asking me to, like, farm? I don't know. No boy, dude. Does the game think I... <laughs> lost my touch that much? Yeah, he was probably trying to be friends with me. I'm not gonna kill them, I just... I wanna break pallets, though. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to stay far away as possible. So no, don't! The Dwight is uh, killing himself. Did you see how the zombie fell? Someone help him already. Sheesh. Maybe I'm a little too close to. Uh... Dude. So... Oh man. The thing is, you can't blame. Oh yeah, I forgot they added uh, an animation to the vaccine. Okay, Dwight has been helped, but. Uh... Meg is not that lucky. Okay, he wants to be friends. Let me get that idiot first. You know, when you play against a team of four newcomers, you can't blame one of them or any of them for leaving someone on the hook because they have no fucking idea what's going on. They just want to live.
But you still feel bad whenever someone gets left on her. Okay, so I think uh, Leon and Ace both uh, can be hooked again. Should we leave them to live? Or does chat want no mercy again? <clears throat> Let me guess. No mercy. He didn't even drop the pallet. I'm gonna pretend like I miss. I need people to drop a pallet, goddammit. <laughs> You know what would be funny? If I tried to un like intentionally miss, and somehow I hit. Watch it happen. Yeah, I dropped that pallet. No, no, no! Dude. <laughs> Dude, fuck it! Dude! Oh my god, <laughs> drop it, please! This guy passed by like three pallets now. Drop none of them. Oh my god. Maybe I need to chase someone else. Yeah, I've just... I'm going against someone else. Okay, someone's up there. Oh, hey buddy. Okay, he's gonna drop the pallet, right? There's one over there. Wait, Leon? Leon what? Oh my god. <laughs> These guys are a lost cause. Like, holy shit. Uh, if you don't know what happened, one of my zombies downed the Leon. Zombies actually being useful. Holy shit. There we go. Okay, I need four more. That's such a Leon moment, though. If you don't know, uh, survivors have stereotypes in this game. Leon players are, like, fucking brain dead. In the goofiest way possible. Like, they'll make decisions that make you question everything, you know? Oh, zombie. Drop it! No! Why do they keep... <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I missed. What are you gonna do? Oh shit, zombie. I'll help you. Okay, please go to a pallet and drop it, dude. There's a pallet right here. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. No! Oh my. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe he's. Uh... Okay, he knows. Okay, nice. Alright, just drop more pallets and I'll let you live. Come on. Someone's not weak. gonna lead him to a generator now, and uh, I'll check who is knocking on my door. Alright, watch over them guys, I'll be right back, okay? Just gonna check who's at the door. Did I miss anything? Okay, maybe not. Buddy?
guys. <laughs> Trying to farm with the uh, new people is just... Uh... Oh, now you drop a pallet, okay. You know what, let's just... What? That actually hit him? Nice, Carlos. Yeah, I'm just... At this point, I'm just gonna kill them because it would be faster. Um... Someone here. Nice, they don't. Does anyone here watch streams on their phones? Not tablets, phones. Like, ever. I'm just... I'm so used to my uh, PC. I, I, almost everything I want to do, it has to be on the PC. Um, like, browsing um, on the phone, for example, I just... It's so difficult for me to... Uh, uh, like, be comfortable with it. Oh no, this is awkward. The Ace and I kind of had a thing, so just killing the Leon again is kind of, you know what I mean? Mm. I do if my piece is not on, I see. Whatever I watch on my funny stream always makes my YouTube crush. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why, like, stuff like that is why I just watch stuff on my PC, usually. I do watch stuff on my, well, on our TV in the living room as well. Oh, -ho! nice one, zombie. Okay, never talk about reverse on my streams ever again. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but... Um, yeah, reverse is... Uh, this is Dead by Daylight. Reverse is a, a failure. Complete, utter failure. <laughs> Any interesting dreams lately? Not that I can think of now. Okay, let's hope the ace is gonna find the hatch. While it got boring fast, I kind of like reverse. The thing about the live service games from Capcom is... You know, even something like reverse would have been infinitely more fun infinitely more replayable if it wasn't just PvP. Like, add co-op and just watch the numbers. When was the last time we had a proper co-op Resident Evil game? That, you know, a full-on, like, co-op game. Like, Outbreak. I guess you could argue RE5 and 6 are that, but... I don't know. I, I feel like I would separate Outbreak from those. Yeah, Outbreak is in a position now where people are just begging Capcom to do it. Yeah, Operation Reckon City, yeah, the main thing is go up there too. 
I'd love to see the thing in this game. I just wonder how they're gonna make it work. Oh, he yeah, has self-care. Okay, this guy's not gonna find the fucking hatch. Let me just close it. Might be faster if he just goes for the gate. Yeah, the thing would be a Mogus in a game. I mean, the thing basically was a Mogus before a Mogus became a thing. Yeah, the thing about the mimicking kind of killer is that if you're in the pre made, like on voice chat and all that, I feel like it's not gonna work very well. But if they take that into consideration and try to design something that would be. Uh, challenging in a pre-made and also solo. I think that could work. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, fair enough, Samurai. Yeah, that is true about Resident Evil 6, but the reason I separate 6 from Outbreak is because... Um, Outbreak was a game made with online as one of the first things they want to create, if that makes sense. RE6 is a number title. You could make that a solo game, and it would still work. Like, it would have a partner and all that. But if there was no co-op, it would still be kind of the same, if that makes sense. Um, Outbreak is, you know... It's like a side project that mainly tried to recreate an online experience more than anything. Um, and there was a lot of things centering around that idea. Um, block points. That's easy. They've been getting creative lately. They have, like, DVD does some stuff pretty well. And then other things... <laughs> other things... Go here. Uh, I just still don't like how it takes them like fucking half a year to change anything. And even then, it's not like, oh, we overhauled something completely. No, they take half a year to like change a number on a perk. That's it, like, are you kidding me? The artist is really powerful, you know what, let's play as her. Like, the, the amount of, uh, not even mind games, you can just make survivors fuck off from loops. Let me put something good, though. You know, this is one killer, I'm kinda surprised they changed nothing about her, almost nothing, I think. They tweaked the add-ons, but that's about it. She is insanely powerful. Uh, like, even against good survivors, I feel like... Do you have a favorite video that you've made? Uh, probably the iceberg. Mm. Yo, Sharavi, good, how are you? You know, what is up with that... Uh, Zoom or kind of meme going on recently. Gyat Skibbity Toilet, whatever <laughs> the fuck it is. Like... What what am I hearing? Are we still speaking English? Hmm... <clears throat> Gen Alpha memes. Gen Z is getting old.
I guess the meme is, it's just so absurdly weird of an expression. And like, it's making fun of the fact that youngsters, if you will, are saying shit like that. I thought Gyat just means like, oh my, like my god, you know, like you're looking at someone attractive and it's like, god damn! Just taking that Gyat part only. <laughs> Can't say charisma? No worries, just say Riz. Any Riz in chat? Who has the most Riz in chat? I'm 26 and Zoomer meme culture is already losing me. Like, there, there's some stuff with, like, Zoomer meme culture that I find funny. Like, uh, the expression, just like me, for real, for real, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea why, but it's just so funny to me. Bird. Hey, buddy. Oh, he has calm spirit. Wow. Dude, Leons are a special breed, I tell you. Right, do we have a Scourge for nearby? That's the closest one. Can he do some sick snipes, Leon? I did half a snipe earlier. Oh! Okay, she blew it up though. That's an L. Someone around here. Okay, they win this time. Let me pay a visit up there. found someone. The birds. They speak it all. So I'm pretty sure it used to be that, like, whenever someone is, um, afflicted or inflicted by birds. Oh, we got two people. It used to be always visible, but not anymore. Nice, we got him. These guys are pretty sneaky. Is he going back to the shack? I think he is. Man, they're actually kind of destroying me. Okay, let me leave the Leon. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they said they shrink this map, right? It still feels really big. Like, man. Compared to something like... Uh, what's it called? Wait, what? Wait, what? Dude. Where the f... No way. How, how the f... Oh. 
Okay. Look. How? <laughs> what? Where the hell did she go? Finally, we got someone. Let's make them panic. Mama Rose. Dude, how are they dis- I swear to god, nothing is more baffling to you in this game, assuming you have like thousands of hours. Nothing is more baffling than new players. Like, <laughs> they just... Like, you kind of know what to expect out of uh, experienced people for the most part. But then you meet new players and it's like, holy sh... I'm not using the power enough, I think. Oh, nice. Thank you, Hook. What does Plink mean? Try it out. With a capital P. See what happens. Finally. Okay. We got her. I'm doing not well <laughs> during this match. Yeah, see the plinkster? That's what it means. Nice. Well, that gen is probably gonna get finished. I probably should have gone for the Leon, actually, since he got hooked already. But no matter. We want the blood points. Hey, buddy. Someone's here. Well, let me pick her up first. <laughs> Someone's there. Wait, did she actually manage to heal the Leon? Dude, they're still here, chilling. Ooh! The bird snipe! Let's go! Oh shit, that's a little too far away. I hope I make it. Please make it! Oh no, oh no, I hate this. Come on! Nice. I'm actually gonna get her just to get someone out of the game. Nice, we kind of controlled where she went there. Ooh. Yeah, I need to use the birds more often. Like, if you make best use of that, it's uh, very handy. Just to, like, control where they go. Well, someone's healing. You know what? Whoever's healing up there, I think, if, if they're not using a medkit, they're wasting a lot of time. If 
we get that girl as well, we can just take her out of the game. No! Almost. That's not an ideal place to go. Karoya would actually be a sick killer. But, you know, Judgment is not a horror game. I mean, they had a fucking collab with, what, uh, Rainbow Six? Just a few days ago. Oh, nice, they actually finished the... I wonder if I'm gonna even make it to them. Probably gonna go for her actually. Might be safer to go here. I can try to annoy her with the birds. Oh, it didn't work. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Didn't mean to start the plink train. You can always start the plink train, buddy. I wonder if he's gonna... try to save her. It's not gonna go well for him if I just stay next to her, though. Come on. Yeah, Leon is somewhere here. Didn't see him with the perk. Well, if he wants to save her, then, well. All the plinkers. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's see where he is. He's probably around there. Somewhere. That was a decent match. Oh, the hatch was nearby too. <clears throat> why does her. Why does she sound like she's about to get her back blown out? She's a bird lady. <laughs> I guess that's how it sounds like. Hmm. Look who's here, by the way. Yoshi not a fan? I was actually just thinking about playing Slinger. Should I use a cake? Hmm. Look at the code physics. <laughs> I used to play Death Slinger a lot until they nerfed him. So, for those who don't know, this guy used to be able to like insta aim and just shoot. So, survivors literally had no idea when you were gonna shoot. So, in a normal chase, you didn't even have to do anything. Survivors would go like left and right, left and right, left and right. And like it required no effort of you to make them like just scramble all over the place like that. So that's why they nerfed it to where now it takes like a like a a startup kind of animation. So it takes like what half a second now to like wind up your gun. But it's still useful. But I still miss the old gun uh death slinger. Yo, thank you for the 15 months, Shirabi, thank you. Recently got 7 for my birthday. Nice. How far in are you, and what do you think of the game? Big Krusty. Oh, we have a Cheryl. Hmm, do we need... 
gonna put reload add-ons if I have. Uh, oh, there we go. I don't know what the fuck that sound is. You guys heard it, right? Bye bye, Carlos. I see. Yeah, I played Death Slinger a lot, and I still have no idea what that sound is when that that he makes. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta send something. Do you guys have someone in your lives that uh, from time to time they ask you for money? How do you deal with it? Like, to be fair, it's not much, usually, but when it's, like, multiple times um, a month, I feel like it's, like, you know, maybe do something about it. I give them money. Giga Chad! <laughs> you know, I used to do that, like, without even thinking about it, but I feel like it got to a point where it's, like, you know, just how long is this going to go for? Um, depends on the situation. Yep, Streamlabs! You blink too? No way! They have a mind of their own. Sometimes people be struggling, I like to think. Yeah, for sure, Jario. The thing is, I always think about it that way as well. But again, just when I see it happen multiple times, and, like, they're not making an effort to, like, efficiently spend their money. It's just, I don't know, I think about it, you know? But then again, I, I'm not really one to <laughs> speak about efficiently spending money, so. I try to say that, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, I probably would have would be in their shoes. And I just do it. No way, I actually got her? I'm talking about family, by the way. Siblings. Nice. That was quick. Because, like, here's the thing. You would think... Um... I'm not ragging on family, by the way, but sometimes you would think family is the exact kind of people you wouldn't have issues lending money to, but family can very easily make use of the fact that you make money. Like, may maybe they don't even realize it, but they do. You know? Because, like, I also had times where they didn't even um, return my money. And... Sometimes, like, like I don't, I don't like to make a big deal out of it, but it's also, it's just like, if you can't even try to, you know, make sure you give it back, not once, not twice, multiple times, then it's like, maybe you should, you know, do something about it. They really wanted a couple of the Street Fighter costumes, didn't they? Yep. Am I gonna make that? Holy shit, I did! This is what playing against, against the Death Slinger feels like for me. If, if, if I see a good one, that is. Okay, I don't want to go against that girl, because uh, I have a perk that relies on me attacking uh, survivors that are not my obsession. Sorry, girl. You have a full stack now. Did she, did she want to get my attention? Look, I'm sorry. I have saved the best for last, okay? 
I need to track people that are not you. I feel bad for this girl, but... Oh, Sprint Burst. No way! No way! Pro gaming? Holy shit, Leon! <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, did she just... Oh, okay. Maybe I should leave her. No way! No, 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 no. Nia? Oh, fuck, dude. Get back here, you... Oh! <laughs> Nia, don't do it. I'm sorry. They got me! They got me! <laughs> Oh, wait. I'll, 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 I could use that stack. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They, they at least gave me back some of my... No way, no way! Dude! No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, skill issue. Yeah, to be fair, I, I did, like, very persistently go after the Nancy. They're good players. Nancy? No! 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 <laughs> God damn it! That's what missing shots as this guy feels like. Okay, we got her. Okay, they're probably gonna haul ass now trying to save her. Okay, I'm waiting. They're actually not nearby. I think. Gaming, okay. Okay, we have two people there, and someone is on a gen. Let's disrupt this girl. I didn't hook her once. Actually, let me go to those two. They're gonna finish that gen faster. Oh, look at the team player. She's really trying to... Yeah, what do you guys think about this Fortnite season? Oh, she gave up, I think. Okay. I think that's the girl we wanted to go after. Yeah, there she is. Are you guys gonna buy Peter Griffin? Oh, wow, this match, like, th this match went way better than I thought it would. Goddamn. Is she still there? Look at my plan. <laughs> no, don't help her. No. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna let you escape, but don't help her. No. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad for her. If I if I was in the situation, oh, okay. You know what? You know what? Just fine, fine. Just <laughs> if I were in that 
in your situation, I would feel like shit because that player is probably screaming, HELP ME YOU FUCKING BITCH! But then there's the killer like, no, don't help her. You know? Just... Uh, they, can, they can take this one. No, no, no need to kick it, just... Yeah, did you guys like that conversation? That's how you talk in DVD. <laughs> just, dude, just... They want to help me farm, but I really... I don't mind. They just finish it. Yeah, the thing about... The thing about kicking gens, it's so slow. Like, you get 100 points only, too. So this part, I don't mind skipping. Like, I'll hook people twice. I'll chase them. I'll break pallets, be stunned. But this part... how you farm in this game, guys. I'm actually just surprised, you know, this person is patient with me about that, because... This particular process of farming, um, people don't like to do, because of how tedious it is. Okay, someone's jamming to this. Maybe it's worth it after all. <laughs> Generator noises. Leon, let me ask King a question. No questions today. No questions allowed. Gunslinga doesn't know how the gen works, so he's returning to caveman. Forget technology, return to... Caveman. This weapon is pretty cool. I like it. Should I kick this one? I mean, they're both working on one side. Uh, if you mean the IP itself, I mean, you know, I know that it's one of the most, uh, or one of the biggest horror franchises, I guess, but I don't particularly, particularly like it. Um, I still haven't bought the DLC either. I was thinking of it, but I'm not sure. But if you mean about the gameplay of him in this game, it, it seems okay. Yeah, it seems like Peter Griffin coming to Fortnite is pretty big. <laughs> Man. Fortnite is pretty fun, though. If anyone ever considers getting into that. Chucky, seen all the movies. Some of them are bad. I feel like that's the case for all of the horror franchises, though, right? <laughs> She's blocking the blind. Uh, because, like, even Halloween, like, 
I think that franchise is a mess. So much so they rebooted the thing like, what, two, three times? And then I'm like, you know, just in general, most franchises have... Uh, When survivors do this, they're basically giving you an offering. They're trying to be nice. So it's like, here, take this. <laughs> this is like one of the most adorable things easy survivors do. Here, take my toolbox. Please, let me live. I was gonna say sorry I kept ignoring you, Nia. But eh, just. The fact that Halloween has three failed trilogies is very funny. How's the reception for the reboot? I don't know how it's like, but. Like, you know, I, I thought. I, I watched the first two Halloween and Halloween Kills, I think it was. I didn't watch Ends yet. Halloween Ends. Uh, but those two were, you know, they were alright. Nothing, like, groundbreaking, but, um... Pretty mixed. Yeah, I can see why. Mm, it gets worse each film. Uh... Look, guys. They should bring him in a Yakuza game. And that's his look. The whole we got the wrong guy were the real monsters. Part of kills. Wait a minute. What? They do? What? <laughs> Excuse me? That does sound dumb. Like, Halloween Kills also had pretty dumb stuff from what I've seen. Um, but, you know, I tried to enjoy the goofy aspect for what it is, just the goofy aspect. I didn't take it too seriously. Wait, really, Jorio? Damn. Are these the default pro- You mean like the pictures? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about Scream? Scream is something that I kinda... Have been exposed to more. I don't love it. As a franchise, but... Um, I know that it has a legacy and all that. But I feel like Scream is- Yeah, I mean... Is there a horror franchise that is, like, like completely free of, like, just messy sequels? Because it feels like every single, like, horror franchise has, like, at least a movie or two that is just horrible. Um, that is true for Halloween, that is true for... Um, even Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that is true for... Ghostface, or, like, Scream, whatever it's called. Every single one of them. No escape. I do have the Demogorgon, yeah. I bought him years ago when he came out. Where is he? There he is. I don't like playing Demogorgon, though. Should we play Jump Scare Myers, maybe? Hmm... I'm in your closet, Leon. I don't have a closet. Do you think it's possible that a genuinely bad Yakuza game releases? Well, so far, I mean, even the worst Yakuza game is pretty fun. By normal game standards. Um, but that's just my take on it. I would have said Evil Dead, but I forgot. Yeah, the reboot movies. Like, the funny thing about Evil Dead is... Pretty much everything with uh, Bruce in them 
are really good. Even Army of Darkness. But yeah, then you have the reboot movies. <clears throat> If Sega makes them pump one out on a really tight schedule, a bad Yakuza game is definitely possible. You know, that sounds like Kiwami 2. I think Kiwami 2 might be um, one of the least liked games, but then you also have 3. 3 was pumped out in 11 months. Which, for a mainline game, I think is very little. But then again, there's a lot of like mainline entries that have been cranked out in like a year. Give or take. That's actually one thing, like, people talk about Yakuza games being rushed out and like, oh my god, how could they not take their time with it? Most of the Yakuza games have come out in like a year. Like, you know, after one release. Um... Like, they've been, they've been naturals with this kind of release schedule. It's impressive. Kiwami 2 lately seems to actually have a lot of huge fans. See tons of people saying K2 is their favorite. I saw a post that blew up recently about Kiwami 2 being bad, I think. Or something like that. And then someone retweeted that, saying the opposite. And both of those posts basically blew up. Yeah, I like Kiwami 2 as well, but you know, everyone has like least favorites. I think Kiwami 2 might be there for me. You know, the only two games probably where they actually took their time for what it's worth is games like Yakuza 5, and even that's debatable, but 100% Yakuza 8. I think Yakuza 8 and 7. Between uh, Yakuza 6 and uh, 7, there were three years in Japan. And then between um, between 7 and 8 in Japan, there were four years. So three and four years. Which is funny because the RPG games that like really hardcore classic fans just like shitting on those. Even though they're like <laughs> the most polished games. Which is funny again, just... Yeah, the effort in 8 really does show. Like, them saying, oh, this is like this many times as big as the previous one. You know, they, they took their time with that game. And I feel like that's actually something people don't think about often, currently. Um, they look at something like Gaiden and they're like, oh my god, look at how they rushed this game. Maybe. If anything. Um, which, honestly, I still stand by the fact that Gaiden for being developed in like six months is amazing. Um, man, this is a conversation I was planning to bring up in one of the upcoming podcasts that I mentioned. But you know how sometimes people mention stuff in specific games? For example, in the Dragon Engine games especially, or Gaiden, let's say Gaiden for example. They'll mention stuff like, you know, maybe attacks bouncing or like hyper armor or just, you know, something that doesn't feel good, right? But what I hate about that conversation, whenever they bring up something like that, they only look at Gaiden, and they pretend like that doesn't happen in almost every single Yakuza game. Because if you ask me, every single Yakuza game has an annoyance like that. Which, I really wish people bring those up, but they don't. And you might be saying, okay, well, th like, this is a recent game, they had all the chances in the world to fix it. But, even games like Okay, chat, what games out there are known for being very, like, responsive, over-the-top over action, combos, blah blah blah? Devil May Cry, maybe? Devil May Cry 5? I feel like even in Devil May Cry 5, there's, a, like, a big chance something bullshit can happen. You know what I mean? I just fucking hate that, like... Think about it for more than a couple of seconds, for God's sake. Um... I mean, like, yeah, ideally, we want, you know, ideal games with no flaws, but name one game that doesn't have any flaws. Oh, wait, you named one game without flaws? Well, guess what? That's your opinion. Even games like, I don't know, Resident Evil 4 Remake, which is hailed as, like, a very good remake by most people. Um, I think there's severe gameplay issues with that game. 
Just the fact that, you know, enemies, for example, take like fucking five headshots to stun, I hate that so much. I hate it. I actually install mods to make it so that they just take one hit. Because that's how it should be. Um... But yeah, sorry about the rant. That, that's just a topic that... God, it feels like people just have very, like, what's it called? T tunnel vision? Just... <laughs> I don't know. Like, look at the big picture. Yeah, I know I didn't press ready, because if I did, and we got into a match, I would be forced to stop, and I wanted to go all out. You might even say... B hmm. Do I want to play killer still? Does anyone want to join, by the way? I might just go Survivor now. Thank you, Derek. Favorite game in terms of combat? Probably Lost Judgment. Either that or Yakuza 0. I think those were peak. Tetris has no flaws. If you disagree, then <laughs> skill issue. Alright, I think I have you added already, right, Jario? Uh, for anyone that wants to play, this is my in-game ID. Feel free to add me. And... Hop on. Can I please... Yes, you can join. First come, first serve. If you add me first and, you know... And then the next game, we were gonna give a chance to other people. In RE4, I love the game, but there is a thing... Things I hate... Um... Hmm... Best combat is Yakuza Online, hell yeah. Yeah, it's her! Look, the emoji girl. That's her. What about Kiwami? Kiwami also has really good combat. I think Kiwami's combat is underrated. Because, like... In my, like, I don't know if I should say my opinion or just objectively, because, I mean... Kiwami has... Probably one of the most, like, skill-based combat um, in the whole franchise. Or consistent. But I feel like even in the most consistent Yakuza game, you will have bullshit happening. Otherwise, you know... Um, with stuff like, I don't know, like, no damage videos or skill videos, people wouldn't take multiple retakes to get something perfect. Which is a thing that happens with whole games, where people attempt challenge runs. Okay, two people joined. K1 combat is so goaded. Wish the boss designs were better so people didn't hate on it so much. I mean... Like, the boss design isn't that bad, considering you can destroy them in like two hits. Um, yeah, Jingo is one of those fights that does just kind of defy some of the game mechanics. But that's the thing, right? I feel like almost every single Yakuza game, like I said, they all have at least one thing that's bullshit about them. Whether it's like one story fight or like one uh, game mechanic. We got... Oh, hell yeah. Look at all the Silent Hill people. Wait, uh, Samurai, you can stay as Cheryl. I'll go Maria. And now we have a full Silent Hill gang! Look! Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Okay. There we go. Yeah, fair enough. Kiwami seems worse at first glance, but, um... Because, like, Kiwami nerfs a bunch of stuff, like, very obviously, like, you know, the beast, damage, and just the power of the beast style in general. But you, you can, st like, still deal a lot of power with that style. Uh...
You know something else that really gets me? Um, people complain about mechanics in Dragon Engine games and not working properly. And they forget about mechanics also not working properly in older games like, let's say, fucking Yakuza 5. Now, okay, th th <laughs> this is not like, like a Yakuza 5 um, hate rant, but uh, I really want to use a genuine example. The uh, Kiryu rage ability... Would you guys say that's perfect? Because it most certainly isn't. Like, a lot of the attacks you do with that uh, thing... Like, they get they get blocked. You can't do anything about it. Uh, the only actual viable option sometimes is the grab for that uh, um, mechanic. But, even, you know, it depends. But I do think, from what I remember, like, the, the combo for the rage uh, climax thing, whatever it's called, can get fully blocked. It also overrides taunting. Yeah. That's something that I also don't like about 5. Just, you know, you have to not have Climax Heat to be able to use taunting. Man, I am so glad I have people in chat who understand. Because, <laughs> like, you know, I, I just, I don't think it's unreasonable to want people to look at the bigger picture when they criticize stuff. Because I just see so much... Well, maybe not so much, but I see, you know, talk about, oh, Gaiden has this and that. But then, they never mentioned the bullshit in the previous games. Dragon Spirit, yeah, thank you. That's what it's called. Honestly, if you were to ask me, I can list a problem with every single solitary Yakuza game. Yakuza 1 original? <laughs> Do I need to say it? Like, the responsiveness of the combat. I love Yakuza 1, by the way. Yakuza 1 is, like, one of the most replayable Yakuza games, in my opinion. I always love going back to that game and replaying re replaying the game again. But, you know, if, if we're being real, the combat is pretty heavy. Um, not the most responsive. It takes a while for you to recover, blah, blah, blah. Yakuza 2 tries to polish Yakuza 1's combat. But still has some issues. You know how they try to especially improve on like directional inputs? Uh oh, blight. God damn it. Yakuza 2 original tries to really improve on like directional input, like you you know, you change your direction on the fly. But something I noticed, not in just one playthrough, but multiple play playthroughs, that gets less efficient the more you go with the game. For some reason, I don't know what it is. But as you progress with the game, it does it's not as good as first. And then um you have some bosses with really annoying hyper armor. Wink wink, Ryuji. Wink wink. Which again just goes back to the fact that you know hyper armor is an issue a lot of people talk about. They don't look at these instances in all the games. Oh, by the way, Yakuza 1 Original also have has a fuck ton of iframes on bosses. But yeah, usually these kinds of people who I see just give shit to Dragon Engine, but not the originals, are those kinds of people. They will, you know, sing praises to the original games, but not look, not try to even look at the good of the newer games. Um, if you want to criticize something, you know, you have to discuss the good and the bad, not just the bad. And again, you can always say, oh, it's a new game, they should they should have perfected it. But even the most perfect games out there have issues or bullshit that is very possible to happen. Um, and then... <laughs> Yakuza 3. I don't think I need to say anything about that, do I? By the way... I don't think I need to say this as well, but I love Yakuza 3. I love all Yakuza games, but they all do, do have issues on combat. Yo, Deccan, uh, pretty good. And then, let's see, um... Yakuza 4, fucking grab spam? <laughs> like, holy shit. Grab spam... And the brass knuckles move set in both 3 and 4? Holy shit, dude. Spam galore. Annoyance galore. That's just one thing, too.
No! Yeah, 4 really love the knuckle moveset. And then, you know, we talked a bit about some issues with 5. And again, I'm mentioning so many stuff. And yet, I'm not mentioning every single thing about every game. Like, they all have multiple things that bring the combat down. Do we need to talk about Shinada's combat? Do we need to talk about how fucking Akiyama got the worst downgrade in 5 compared to 4? My goodness. <laughs> like, you know, Akiyama does have some good things about him in 5 that, you know, w work better than they did in 4. Like the dodge, for example. Oh my, like, the dodge distance in 5 is... <laughs> insane. Um, what's wrong with Shinada? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shinada fans. Name one good and one bad for each mainline Yakuza game. What, combat-wise or just anything? I just noticed I'm, a, I'm on death hook. God damn. Being on death hook means if you get hooked again, you're dead. And they keep track of them above each one's each person's name, as you can see. I have two lines, so next one is death for me. I'm gonna try to hide a little bit. Combat-wise, what, what would it be? Triple headbutt in OG1. Oh my goodness, I love that move. Triple headbutt. And then if there's one thing I dislike, it's the fucking iframes with bosses. Yakuza 2. I love that they added the hammer blow. Um, and then I dislike some bosses with hyper armor, like Ryuji. Mainly Ryuji, honestly. Like, that final fight is so annoying. Three... Um, maybe Revelations. The revelation moves. And then what I dislike would be just the chip damage, probably. And then for wall bounding, especially in that game. And then what I dislike would be grabbers. Five. Like, I guess Saijima's counter really changed this combat up and made him more, even more broken. Dislike. Um, some limitations, like, you know, Shinara not having enough to him. Six. Um, the fucking dropkick. <laughs> I mean, I love that so much. And then dislike would be uh, not enough heat actions. So you don't even have a stomping heat action, which is a first... And a very grave crime. And then, uh, zero. All the different styles. And then this, like... Maybe just the hyper armor with bosses. There's definitely more of it in that game. Kiwami. The swift style changing. And then I just, like... Probably the hyper armor again, honestly. I, th I feel like it's more annoying in Kiwami as well. Um... You want me to the fucking knockback? I feel like it's more painful than six. Like when you attack and they're blocking and like just your momentum is gone. Um. And then the positive in Kiwami two, I don't know. <laughs> but I know I just fucking dislike the knockback there. Yeah, who's looping the killer? Holy shit! Whoever is juicing him is doing a good job. And I hope I didn't just jinx us. Let's see, where did we reach? Judgment? Yagami's combat. Just in gen- like... I don't know. Uh, what's it called? Flux Fisher? Or whatever it's called? That is so good in Judgment. 
And then Lost Judgment, the fucking crane style. And I guess I dislike the slow nature of combat in uh, the first Judgment. And then in Lost Judgment, I dislike how fucking slippery the hitbox can be. Oh my god, it's so annoying. You notice it most with wall attacks. Like, half of them don't land in that game for some reason. Yo, where's the killer? What? Did he give up? Like, he's chasing no one. Damn. Hello? Guys, I think my Yakuza rant scared them off. On both PS4 and 5 versions? Really? I mostly played the PS4 version, and I thought it worked really consistently there. Like, I had issues. But it was nowhere near as common as Lost Judgment. Oh, he's AFK. Maybe I shouldn't have opened that just yet, but... Would have been nice to go and, like, pick stuff from him up. He's talking about five again. I'm done. <laughs> uh. Wow, I can't believe we actually had a game go well. It did seem a little more consistent than PS4. I see. Right. What do we have left? Seven? Uh, the good... Well... All the classes... Like, I, I love that stuff. And they're gonna add even more in 8, on top of the ones we have already, I think. Um, and then I dislike the fact that you can't move, which they're fixing in 8. At least to a degree. Leon's skill as killer in DVD would be ranting about Yakuza 5. So much ranting. The survivors go, can you please shut the fuck up? And if you don't shut the fuck up, then they just, like, smash their heads with a hammer or something. Oh yeah, Lost Paradise. Oh man. The secret techniques, they're so fucking... Like, I never felt like they got old, honestly. Especially, like, certain ones that I loved more than others. Like, 100th Fist Rush, I mean, it's a classic. Um, and there was a specific one, I forgot what it's called. I don't think it was Fist of Penitence, I don't know. But there was one where, like... Uh, what's his name? Kenshiro does something to a guy, and then as he's exploding, uh, you just hear Koroda saying the most probably badass shit. You don't understand it, but he's saying something really, uh, smoothly. Um, I think it's the one where he, like, puts two thumbs. I forgot what that move is called. Um, does anyone else want to join that's not in the lobby right now? I feel like we're gonna have to emulate Lost Paradise. Yeah. Actually, it's on PS3 already, so maybe that's possible. Like, right now. Ishin and Kenzan? I don't know, honestly. Like, Ishin, I guess, the Wild Dancer style. But other than that... I guess just the hype armor and how much damage they deal to you sometimes. Um, it's, it's the only game where you have, like, a... Well, pre-Dragon Engine game where you have like 40 item slots, which is huge, but you need all of them. Yeah, it might be Fist of Penitence, yeah. Yeah, I can play this game on Xbox, on PlayStation, and even on the Switch. They have crossplay. Uh, I don't think anyone... 
seems to want to join, so wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, awesome wants to join. Could someone tag out for this match? Okay, um, awesome, awesome Megalul. Add me, and we'll invite you. Yeah, Dead by Daylight is the name. Okay, so add me, and I'll be back real quick. I'll accept the uh, thing. Oh, wait. Wait, who is this? Um. Okay, you can join the party. I'll be... Uh, actually, just go ahead and join now. I'll take a break while we queue up. No problem, you can join again uh, if the lobby is free, Samurai. Okay, Winston. Oh, looks like you can join now, Winston. Do I have you added? I can't remember. If you don't, uh, here's my ID in game. Customs? Oh yeah, we can do custom at- Actually, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let's do custom. Okay, um, no, not this. That would be fun, I think. Okay. I would go killer, but I feel like I'm gonna get stream sniped. <laughs> Okay, Winston wants to go, Chucky. Alright, uh, go ahead and join, you guys. Um. Okay, just anyone that wants to join for now, just join and I'll be right back. Join. Okay, we have two people. I'm setting up right now. On the way. Oh my god, look at all the people that want to join. Damn. Um, did you own Steve before? Yes. I owned Steve uh, the first time he dropped. Both Steve and Nancy. <clears throat> mm. No problem.
I will be tempted to play killer in a bit. No problem. Okay, so just to be sure, who's gonna... Aside from people downloading, who's gonna join right now? Are you a clown main? I don't have a main. Like, sometimes I feel like playing Wesker. Sometimes I feel like playing Trickster. Sometimes Artist. Leon, have you ever tried to watch three live streams at the same time? I think two maximum, and even then. Like, I don't keep both up. Do I have you added? I think you should, yeah. Yeah, you do. Thoughts on the trickster changes? I like some stuff, like his speed increase, but I feel like the blade throwing is really slow. And takes, like, a little too long. Okay, we have Star. What is this? Someone I know? Hillbilly! Holy Giga Chad. You don't see many Hillbillies now. I mean, the killer. But j just in case someone misunderstands. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh... I can't invite you. Can you join me? Oh, wait, you're here. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's get ready, people. All right. Winston, don't look. Just kidding. You can look. Look as much as you want. I'll be toxic. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I say that. Every time I want to be, in quotes, toxic, I just... I can't do it. I find the generator sooner or later, and I just stick to it. Is TCM still getting updates? It got an update recently. So they had an update first, which was just Survivor Cosmetics and Leatherface. And I think like days ago, or like a week, they got a new killer and a new survivor. And apparently, I heard they're planning to bring Collapse at some point. Which, if they do that, that's a massive W. I think at this point, if you wanna, if you wanna compete with DVD, you need to have Collapse. Otherwise, forget about it. Um, I just realized I'm the only one who needs to be ready. Let's just go for now. Yeah, I need to update the mod pack. It's been a while. They made it so you don't need Bubba anymore. Really? That's actually... I kind of like that. Like, it does sound weird on paper, but... Like, requiring a Bubba every single time... Maybe someone doesn't want to go Bubba, you know? I don't know. Mm, yo, Nate, how you doing? Hawkins, yeah. Are you guys excited to go back to Hawkins? It's back! With a DLC! Yeah, good luck, have fun, chat. Holy shit, we're all close to each other. Where's the fourth? Up there, maybe? Oh, yep, they are up there! <laughs> well, they just had us all start next to each other. We have the solitary generator in the fucking corner. <laughs> look at this generator. Like, look at this. Oh my god, this generator is so safe. It's insane. Look at all the distance the killer has to make to you. You have so much time to run away. I hear Chucky. Shit! There he is! <laughs> I think it's the same Kaiser, but I'm not sure. Guys, look! A doll is chasing me! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit. He can crawl under pallets! <laughs> 
Oh, I just realized I don't have Overcome. I love that perk. We got life, though. Uh-oh. Hey, fellas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know you were here. You know, with Chucky being in the game, and with a fucking Rainbow Six collab recently, I feel like people have no excuse at this point trying to say, Oh, this doesn't fit in the game. Like, for example, if they want to add just goofy costumes, anime fucking collabs, which, by the way, they already did that. They had an Attack on Titan costume collab. Um, yeah, I just feel like... Oh, th this doesn't fit. The game is supposed to be scary. Yeah, my ass. Maybe the first 10 hours. Or if you're playing against a stealth killer. That can be pretty spooky. Hangman, hell yeah. I feel like Yakuza is not very off the table now, you know? I don't know, I mean... Do you guys think Sega would say yes? If, uh... If, uh, BHVR approached them for Yakuza Dead Souls, which... They're never fucking are gonna do that. Let's be real, they're not gonna do that. Do we have time to- Oh shit, auto-didact? No way. Do we have time? I think we don't actually. Oh no. I'm sorry. Look at this flashlight save. As long as Sega's getting a chunk of the money, yeah, no, they will 100% get money. Um. Call of Duty skins lately. I think I told you guys, but I've been playing Call of Duty recently. Um. And I love the skins that they. Uh, have been putting out. So you have something like Ash from Evil Dead, which I'm a big fan of Evil Dead. And they had a battle pass with Spawn as the ultimate reward. Really love that. I'm not even a Spawn fan, by the way, but I just think Spawn has a really cool design. They fucking... They brought Lara Croft as well. And they brought... Uh, who else was there again? Well, this is not recent, but they brought people like Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj. Yeah, the boys as well. Those little footsteps get me sometimes. Like, I think someone's nearby, but no one's nearby. What the hell is Dune? Like, I never heard of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sci-fi novel, I see. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I'm exposed. Okay. Wait, what? How was I exposed? A book, then movie, then remake movie. With a really bad movie from 1984. 
you know, Call of Duty, Call of Duty is just getting taken any offers. Collabs. Wait, really? Wait, wait, wait. I need to read that again. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I read that wrong the first time. Mm -hmm. Have you guys played Lethal Company? Apparently it's, like... It's blowing up. I think it's a game made, like, by one person. It's blowing up, like, Among Us style. Oh, shit. I saw some gameplay of it, and I don't know if I would enjoy it. It seems like a, like a massive party game. Um, I'm just very particular about what I play. 200 pink? Goddamn. <laughs> He's coming. Hey, what are you plinking at, huh? inside a hook. Damn. It does show that you're the person with the highest ping over here. I don't know if we can have like a best person to host with this. Can get one more gen done, right? Right? There he is. Oh no. Let's get this flashlight save. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Maybe I should just... Can we? Can we? Oh shit! Oh, no way! <laughs> I got you, buddy! Boom. Oh, Monday left me broken. Oh no. We love Mondays. Oh shit. I don't know who dropped that pallet, but good job. Wait, is he following? Oh no, he is following me. But that's okay. I still have a hook left. Oh, oh no, he didn't fall for it. <laughs> oh, flashbang. 
Why does no one just kick Chucky like a football? We don't think about logic in this realm. There is another killer that um, has like a, a secondary killer with them. And you can, you can kick that secondary killer. And it's funny. But he doesn't die. These footsteps scare me, actually. Like, I have no idea if he's actually around or not sometimes. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go to one of those gens. I never keep up with low tier god stuff. So did he finally officially get bent? I'll take it for you. Are you plinky enough for the plink club? The plinkiest. They wouldn't let him at Evo or something and he was all upset. Shish. <laughs> He's been banned for ages. Wait, really? Cause like, I think... I don't know, I, I thought he was still going to tournaments like uh, a couple years ago-ish. is going in on that gen. Oh shit. Okay, they have a Mori. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Shit, okay. Adrenaline value. No way. I know he's tried to get into fights at tournaments when he lost. Really? I think I remember... I saw a couple of clips of him in tournaments. There was one that got into a compilation for like FGC rage moments or like whatever but then there was another one that I saw where he lost and he was surprisingly calm but like I don't know like I don't know how he, he functions and I don't know when it's an act and when it's not <laughs> what's most surprising to me is that uh, there was a show where they invited him over um, even after all the, you know, stuff he says. Yo, Martin. Good, how are you? And I think even on the show, someone called him out for it. And he was like, just like... He was just like... What's that meme called? The Kevin James meme? Like, you know, the... <laughs> he was just like that, basically. And it was funny.
Are you considering streaming Binary Domain? I, I've been wanting to stream that for ages, but I never find the time for it. Good game. I think he got eliminated. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. Okay. I thought they banned him from the show eventually, after realizing it might not have been the best idea to invite him. Uh, that was a good game, by the way. Um, so, who else wanted to join? Could I be the killer? Yeah, sure, go for it. I think we had a couple people who wanted to join. company is fun, but only really with four players and voice chat. Right, I see. So, like, the, the one Lethal Company video or stream that I saw had like 30 people, but I think that was a mod, and it seemed way too chaotic for me. <laughs> Anybody? Okay, well, um, anyone can join, if, if you want to. Should I rejoin? Uh, just wait like a, a few seconds. If someone doesn't join, go for it. I can barely do a Destiny raid with five other people and have a coherent conversation, so it baffles me. Um... That other people can play with a yeah i know what you mean i mean hell even if you don't play anything if you're in like a discord conversation with like 10 people good luck trying to uh, hold a conversation yeah okay hy welcome actually no no wait 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 uh fellas anyone that wants to join like literally anyone just join in um and you know if if like a if a round finishes just uh, leave the spectator mode and come back in as uh, like a team member or something. Uh, I want to join. Join, buddy. Join. Okay, so does anyone else want to join? So at the moment, for those who played last match, the priority goes for, you know, the people who didn't play. If you played last match, tag out for a bit and see if anyone wants to join. Playing Iceborne. I tried playing that, I think. Did I even make it there? I don't know. But Monster Hunter is a game that I tried playing with friends too, but I just... It wasn't for me. Wait, cannot start with two observers, really. Huh. Um, three observers. Maybe one observer works, but more than that, no. Okay, well... Um, Winston wanted to join as survivor, so fill one of these slots, and then whoever fills the second one can fill it. I still didn't watch the FNAF movie, you know. By the way, can I... Can I, uh, tempt you guys to have one of these? I have... God, I love Snickers so much. So, I have these, <laughs> and then I bought these. I don't know what it is, but just eating a smaller portion of something is more inviting and tempting. Allergic to nuts. Oh, man. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna play a game with this uh, party for the time being. Mm -hmm. 
some gear. Better grab some gear. No problem. I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah, I love Snickers so much. Like, I think out of, you know, the, the the big dogs, if you will, like Twix, Bounty, Morris, this is my favorite. I love the crunch. Oh, Kit Kat as well. I think Kit Kat comes second for me. Actually, no, no, wait, wait. If we count stuff like Maltesers as well, and M&Ms. Um... Like, the first place comes at a tie between this and M&M's. Uh, specifically the yellow M&M's. I love them. I love them so much. Yeah, Reese is, is also delicious. Carl is getting more screen time in DVD than Remake. <laughs> Don't call them out like that. You know, it's been funny, I, like... You know how Capcom recently said they're making more remakes? Uh, like, I just see comments like, Oh, <laughs> go back and remake RE3 again. <laughs> Anything chocolate and peanut butter is so good. Hell yeah. Mm. Any restrictions on kit? what killers to play? No, no. We're just, we're chill. Play anything you want. Uh oh, another Mori. Oh, any Musha remasters? I'd love a remaster for two. I know that one is on Steam, and I'm I wanted to buy it during the um, the fall sale or the autumn sale, but I didn't. No nurse. I don't think it, it's okay. I don't think we have any good nurses in love in the lobby, unless. Do I hear Mr. Cowboy? Oh, never mind. It's Tiffany. And Jerry, yeah, noises. <laughs> they fall, yeah, they fall down. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, they're upstairs still. I thought they fell down for some reason. Um, I didn't, mage. There she is. Shit! <laughs> they were facing the wall. Operation Flashlight Rescue. 
fail. I think the Onimusha anime is not out yet, no. Oh, speaking of, have you guys seen the Fallout TV show? It actually looks kind of decent. Like, the, uh... Um, the post-apocalyptic world, the ride roaches, the vault, the vault suit. Uh-oh. Did she see me? <laughs> no way. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I pushed my luck. One day they make a Yakuza movie, but the, the whole cast is, uh, just nobody Japanese. And ironically, I think it would be funny. But I think Hollywood will, will probably think that's not diverse enough or something. <laughs> you know, now that Danny is, uh... In Yakuza 8, they could unironically bring him in a Yakuza movie. Batista as Sayajima, let's go. Danny DeVito Dojima. I think I've seen that swaggy. If they make a Yakuza movie, I want the guy who was in charge of the fight scenes for the raid movies. I still haven't seen that movie. Uh, these, uh, that's an icon mod. Dead by Daylight, updating the UI. Come back in five years. <laughs> I wish I was joking, but uh, that is... Uh, that is actually reality. Sadly. Oh no, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Someone who plays DVD a lot, you probably were the last person I'd expect to see playing this. Is the Yakuza so different? Yeah, I. I see where you're coming from. I had like five different people today telling me, wait, you play DVD too? <laughs> oh shit. Thought she would drop down, but I guess not. Yeah, I've been hooked on DVD since 2018 now. Like, somehow. I got into it before all the cool collabs. Or, well, the collabs that really matter to me. Like Silent Hill, Resident Evil. I got you, buddy! I got you! I got you! Go, 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 go! I just noticed there's someone downed down there. But yeah, you know, given that I started playing this before, like, Silent Hill and Resident Evil, you can't imagine my joy when they brought Silent Hill and then Resident Evil. Like, for the longest time, Resident Evil felt so impossible to achieve. And I can't explain why. But it happened. 
Wait, are you missing? What? Are we farming? Oh. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. I got baited. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Flashbang is the best meme, not because you can save your teammates with it, but because you can blind your teammates with it. Where is Carlos's assault rifle? No one has their weapons here. The entity took everything away. They're just forced to participate in these twisted games against all the different killers, and they never died. Always resurrected to be tormented even more. Ah! What? <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> nice. Oh my god. I'm being tunneled out of the game. Toxic killer. Oh shit. Holy boink! <laughs> Look at Yoichi looking at me. Peak. That was peak. By the way, gotta say, props for playing Yuichi. Like, no one plays this guy that, that we're watching right now. He's part of the Sadako DLC, by the way. Wait, he body blocked me? I didn't even notice, honestly. All good. Oh, the dedication to finish the gen. Didn't work out, sadly. Yeah, Yuichi was unexpected for the collab. This game needs an ill bleed collab. Oh my god. Imagine though. I don't know who owns ill bleed now. Because the company that used to make those games, or that game, is not a thing anymore. Uh, but yeah, imagine. Erico, and then who's the killer? The wood. Uh, the, the, what's the, same? the lumberjack, maybe? He would basically be a second Bubba. Like with the weird noises. Oh, Zodic! Yeah, Zodic! Oh man. Imagine. Yo, what if the survivor is not Eriko, but fucking. What's his name? Uh, the, the cowboy dude, the, the fucking Woody ripoff. What's his name? That would be hilarious. What time is it here? It's. 5.32 uh, a.m. right now. What time is it over there? Bubba Chan. Yeah, but yeah, true. <laughs> Kudelka collab. That would be sick, too. What's that Woody's ripoff name? I'm trying to remember. Um... Cork, Cork is his name. Cork. So Elblade has this parody character called Cork, which is basically just like an edgy, dark version of Cor uh, Woody. Nine p.m. Ooh, nice.
Yeah, it seems to be like a divide between UK and US. Yeah. I think. Then again, that's like my top demographic. <laughs> Twenty-three thirty-three p.m. Holy shit! <laughs> this map is the worst to play on as a killer, unless you're jump scare Myers. But I feel like even jump scare Myers is not the best here. He shines the most in uh, Larry's the hospital. Maybe RPD, but the main hall, kind of, you know. Coolest maps are the worst to play on. Yeah. You know, maps like RPD and this map, I really love them. Like... Playing on them as killer, I don't mind, honestly. Yeah, Pyramid Head is definitely noisy. You know who else is noisy? Fucking Nemesis with those, like, tank stumps. Thud, 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 thud. You can hear him coming from a mile away. Like, Nemesis is so loud. Being, like, being, being sneaky does not work. If you have, like, undetectable perks, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna go kill her once, and everyone that played this match tag out for a bit, let anyone join, and then whoever can just fill the, the rest. First come, first serve style. Um... Yeah, Zodic was basically the original Sonic.exe. Let me join. Uh, hold on, you need to add me first. This is my tag. Or ID, or whatever. Okay, we have two spots. Two spots, people. Anyone that didn't join, add me. This is my tag. And then let's go. Would you ever dive into tier lists for the games? Honestly, I'm thinking of it, yeah. Uh, one streamer that I watch does that. He, like... <laughs> he often streams just games all the time, but sometimes he'll do this random-ass tier list, like... Thanksgiving food tier list. Uh, maybe. Maybe. That Yunjin skin is spooky. I love that so much. Like, the, the headpiece especially. I love it. We need more skins like that. The one on Hattie is kind of dis disappointing. It doesn't look too different. But this one... I love this one. Ice cream flavor tier list. Okay, what is chat's favorite ice cream flavor? Is the game still downloading for you, Carlos? Oh, there we go. That was a Steam ad. Hmm. <laughs> Cookie dough, no question. Is there even a pineapple uh, um, ice cream? Are you gonna be playing as the big man, Mike? I'm thinking of it.
Yeah, Salted Caramel is also really good. I like it. That's such a hard choice, because there's like 500 different ice cream flavors. And so many are good. And you gotta pick one. Well, not one, but... Actually, yeah, pick one. So you get to know how I feel when people are like, Hey, Leon, what's your favorite Yakuza game? Mint. I actually like mint. I think. Uh, no, wait. I'm thinking of pistachio. Mint? I don't think would be too bad, though. I'm from Chile, and... Oh, I see. Wait, you don't see what? My name? Yo, based Cheryl in the lobby, I see. Oh, sorry to hear about that samurai. Hope you get better soon. You always have a spot here. What are your least favorite karaoke songs? Um, I don't know. Like, the thing is, I would tell you, but <laughs> I think I wouldn't even know what they're called. Mm -hmm. I didn't try fried ice cream, no. But I heard it's good, surprisingly. No, you should be able to play with us on console. Just add, uh, press this button, like, so, you go here, this icon of, like, two people, and then you go here, and then you type this, what you see here. This game has crossplay, it doesn't matter what console you're on. Unless you're playing, playing the game on phone, then yeah, it's not gonna work. Are you on, on the phone? Or like iPad or whatever? I don't think you are. The worst songs are some of the hostess ones in Zero? The thing is, like... It's hard to call a karaoke song bad, I think. Oatmeal my life. Oatmeal my life, you mean. I'm on the Xbox. It should be possible then. Just send me an invitation. Oh, uh, Winston is also Xbox, it seems. Yeah, just give him your gamer tag and he'll invite you. A karaoke tier list. Yeah, we should do that. I gotta say, that Samurai song in Gaiden is pretty, uh, not that great. Like, it's catchy, but the video clip, though, <laughs> is, uh, something else. I wish I could give Heather the science memo- Oh, Shattered Memories, what do you mean? Um... I love the fact that Heather is getting a lot of legendaries, because it's basically um, just different Silent Hill characters. But that also means Heather herself doesn't get many costumes. I'm still so fucking sad that the one outfit she does have in the store, you know, the normal one, um, is a set. Because there's no reason that should be a set. I'm still trying to think, I don't know. Okay, I actually- okay, I have an answer. 
at least favorite karaoke songs are probably the ones with slideshow images of uh, like a climax scene if you want to call it that so that used to be tonight and that also used to be both new songs in Kiwami 2 the Majima one and the Kiryu one uh, but then tonight was enhanced like it's actually kind of surprising how much better it became when they tried to animate the uh, flashbacks um list of the pen pa paranormal stuff that sounds like it could be good da -da -da. is this it If this is you... Actually, wait, no, that's not 23. That's fucking 23. Wait, is that you? Because that's not 23. That's 23, 26, 76. The Ghost Pirates? Th that one is a good sub-story, but... I feel like there's better ones. Hold on, I think he needs to join again. My game download is incomplete. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, well... Um, just, like, I don't know how much longer you need. Let's just have someone join for now. And then, in the next match, maybe we'll have you join. Um, I think there's someone already in the lobby. Winston? The haunted tape in Zero is really good. Like, it, it's kind of goofy, but then I think it ends on a very haunting note. Okay. I also like Forget Me Not because. Even though it's like a paranormal one, they made it so that it's kind of a sentimental one. Um, I also love the Gaiden one. Like, it's not paranormal. It starts off, like, you know, having you believe it's that way, but, you know. For those who didn't play it, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's really good. I loved it. Uh, just in case you guys forgot to ready up. Um, just a reminder. But if you're still preparing, take your time. I forget what it's called. It's the one that... Uh, takes place in the same apartment that Judgment has. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, Swaggy. <laughs> yeah, that's a unique one, Nate. Speaking of Ace Attorney, did you guys know uh, this particular stream, instead of DVD, I was thinking of starting Ace Attorney. But, uh, I decided maybe I should save that for a bit later. I don't know how later, but... Okay, for those who don't know... I'm playing a stealth killer. And my build is particularly stealthy. 
So that means people might jump. Unless they're looking at the stream. <laughs> No, this build is actually bullshit. And I'm saying that as the killer. Because basically, like, within a certain range, you can see everybody. They have no idea you're there, unless they listen to your breathing, which is like... If you don't have headphones, then, yeah, good luck. And usually, with this build, you don't want to chase people, because you're slower than average. Like, way slower. Oh shit. I'd love to see you stream Ace Attorney, was obsessed with the... Yeah, the trilogy is so good. Except the second game. <laughs> I don't hate it, but like, coming from the first game, it's just like... Like, the last case to speak, but... You can send the request if you want. Oh, they're all pretty far away now. You're really slow in this build, goddamn. I'm getting spun. Oh. Oh. Isn't this basically Burger King Myers? It is, right? Because this is the slowest uh, you can get him to be. I just realized how counterproductive having Starstruck is. Like, I get no value from it. I don't know when I put that. Okay, I know I said I shouldn't chase people, but... Let's make an exception here. Maybe get rid of a pallet. Oh! <laughs> I'm so slow! Yeah, I should drop the chase. Actually...
constipated, Leon? Of course I'm constipated. I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Oh, I see that can... She knows. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cheryl. <laughs> actually kind of have a 3 gen going on. Oh, they really have two people there. <laughs> now, th this Michael in general, this Michael build is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Like, if you face. Uh, a mirror Myers like this um, online uh, and he really wants to win he will win unless you know you have a coordinated team and they all know like what's going on Michael, you know, I'm kind of surprised they didn't nerf him. Well, not nerf, but, like, rework him yet, because he has more than one build that basically changes the way you play as him, and he becomes broken, like, just flat-out broken. Hey, buddy. <laughs>
So we can basically just chase the last person now because, well... If they go to unhook someone, uh, that's gonna be a down for them. Wait, what? Oh, they went upstairs. It's because you have to know the right builds to make him broken. The thing is, it's kind of widespread at this point. Like, so much so, he has names for them. Like, Tombstone Myers, and then uh, Mirror Myers, which is the one that I'm using right now. But, like, throw this build into, like, an open map. <laughs> you are... It's a loss, basically. This build relies on indoor maps, that's why I brought an offering for this map. GG's. So wait, did someone... Oh yeah, I think someone was actually adding me. Okay... Of that Myers can do all that but loses to tipped over ballot. Yeah, just like all the other killers. Actually, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna do uh, just survivor lobbies now. And for those who didn't get a chance to join, come on in! So Deccan. And I think Carlos wanted to join but uh, the installation wasn't complete. I think that was it for new people, right? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, well, anyone can join. First come, first serve. How do I switch? Wait, switch what? Astonishing. Mm. Any luck for that fans in chat? Billy boy. Billy boy. For that, hell yeah. Look at that good taste in chat. <laughs> you know what? Might as well take him to prestige 10. I have a lot of cakes on him. I have. An infinite supply of cakes, basically, on my Cheryl. Like... This is all from the past anniversary, by the way, for those wondering. But it, it was... I'm, I'm glad they made it this way, but it was so easy to get all of these cakes. Like, sometimes you get two in one blood web. Um. 
No problem. Uh, uh, take care, Kaiser. So that was from the 7th anniversary. And then from the 6th anniversary, I have uh, 502. And then I, I still have 121 from the 5th anniversary. And 50 from the 4th uh, anniversary. So yeah, I am... Uh... Oh, by the way, I think I kept using these leading up to the last anniversary, and I still have 500. Can you play as Jill? Yeah, we can do that. That's not Jill. This is Jill. So she has the RE3 outfit, and then she has the classic outfit, and then the Revelations outfit, interestingly enough. And then legendaries include uh, Claire and Sheva. <clears throat> Watch your back. Watch your back. Hmm. Gonna bring tenacity for the memes. I actually like how this prick plays out. <laughs> Kinda takes you back, doesn't it? The way she says that to Sheva is interesting. I really wish Valve still did stuff with multiplayer games. Yeah, I love both of those as well. Love for the two, TF2, so many memories with them. <clears throat> Man, the fucking TF2 economy with the hats. <laughs> it's actually insane how f kind of far ahead that idea was at the time. Uh, like, to my knowledge, TF2 was pretty much the biggest place you could do that in. For those who don't know what TF2 is, so Team Fortress 2 is like a competitive uh, team, like, uh, shooting game. Kind of like Call of Duty, but there's different modes. Um, and on PC, you could uh, have, like, custom servers where you just fuck around and, like, there's all kinds of wild uh, custom maps. Um... And they had this, like, economy where you can acquire hats or unbox them from crates. And there's, a, like, a 1% chance of getting a super rare hat with, like, a, an effect going on. Those hats. Oh, boy. Some of those hats reached, like, thousands of dollars if you wanted to sell them to someone. It's insane. And mind you, that was, like, 10 years ago. More than 10 years ago, even. Um, it's just crazy. And then, yeah, the fucking golden pan. <laughs> that actually reached 10k dollars? No way. Not even the team captain did that, I don't think. Back for Blood. You know, I actually liked Back for Blood. It's just a shame they don't have mod support. Like, they said they're officially done with that game. So I think implementing mod support after that would have been awesome. But alas. Left with Dead had mod support for so long, and look at how long it's surviving for. I feel like developers really underestimate the effect of mods, and just how much they can nurture a game, and increase the lifespan of a game. People to this fucking day, and like in no small numbers, play Left 4 Dead 2. Um, We have a pyramid head. Wait, where's... Oh, there it is. Fortnite stream win. <laughs> Man, I actually... I wonder how that would go with the chat. And just my viewers in general. Oh my fucking... Leon! You're streaming a cringe game like Fortnite? Unsubbed, you piece of shit, you shill, you. <laughs> it's okay, astonishing. 
This match is gonna go well, and you're gonna survive with this. Yeah, connection issues with Love for Dead are definitely uh, annoying, even on PC. Like, sometimes trying to like host a game with just my friend can be very annoying. Oh shit. Guys, can you believe this? Jill and Pyramid Head. In a game. Okay, so where the hell is the... Oh, there it is. Is he following? No, he's not me. Um, anyone who unsubs because of a Fortnite stream is a sub I don't want. Actually true, yeah. Like, th that goes even beyond just YouTube in general. Anyone that doesn't really... Um, to give you a chance with stuff is not worth keeping around or worth for you to like uh, to do so much for them stream walking dead destinies oh my god <laughs> I forget if someone brought that up last stream but my friends definitely did bring it up like uh, a day or two ago Holy shit. Uh, no, I, I feel like I did talk about it on stream. I saw a playthrough of the Switch version, and oh my goodness. Game of the year. He thinks I went there. <laughs> Did anyone play it, by the way? Walking Dead Destinies on PC? I know on Switch it's like a fucking mess, but... I heard even on PC it doesn't have, like, basic features. Oh, shit. He has Tinkerer! <laughs> For those who have no idea about... Um, anything in DVD. Tinkerer is a perk that if I get the generator to 70%, uh, he gets um, notified by it. And you don't see him coming, basically. Like, there's no warning. Yo, thank you for the Hanya tier death. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Almost, almost, oh! So close. There have been really good games and really bad games for this year. Truly a roller coaster of gaming. Oh, you mean like Silent Hill Ascension, right? In the good category? By the way, was there an alert? I didn't hear anything. Did you guys hear the alert sound? Just want to make sure the thing is working. Because I've been having quite a bit of issues while streaming lately. Oh shit. Gonna take a hit for Shell because she's on the last hook. I'm gonna take the killer as far away as I can. Two of them gens, guys. He left. God damn it. Look! KFC chicken! Uh. Thank you, Def. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we have like less than two months until Infinite Wealth now. Man, I really. <laughs> I'm actually considering fucking pulling a whole sofa here. Just so I can actually get comfy. Like, extra super comfy. Because, um... Oh, 
God damn it. Just so I can manage like super long streams better. No dodge. He has Tinker, is it? Oh, he's, he's gonna commit, actually. Okay. Fellas, I got you guys. <laughs> Doesn't your gamer chair have a pull out lever? Lever? Um, no, it doesn't. It's an office chair. I, I don't trust gaming chairs. Um, and I don't want to risk breaking my chair as he Oh shit. Hell yeah. Alright, run to the exit, astonishing. Run! Go! You got this. You can make it. Come on. Alright, find a nice little spot to hide in. Okay, here's the deal. He's probably gonna hook that last person. Will he- oh shit, he's coming here. Oh shit. Okay, try going to the- or yeah, that works, that works. Just open that. You got this, I think- no. Fuck! Did you hear about the infinite wealth that was still being leaked? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, like, this this could have been avoided if they just didn't include, like, most of the soundtrack in 8. Mm, I might actually stop after this match. Checked one or two songs and decided to save the rest. Yeah, I didn't check any song. And like, usually I don't mind spoilers even, but you know. There's just like no real reason. Okay, that was a good game. Okay, well, I think I might actually call it here. Um, like I said on the Discord, I wanted this to be a shorter stream, almost at four hours now, which is, you know, pretty decent for a stream, I think. Uh, okay, well, this has been fun, you guys. Thank you so much for joining and playing uh, with your boy. Yeah, that was okay until it wasn't. I think... I don't know, I don't know. It happens. It's fine. Yeah, we did good that much. At least two people escaped. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be calling it here. It's It has been uh, pretty fun to play with chat again. Probably gonna stream this game again at some point. I mean, I feel like it's one game that I can just go back to whenever I want and play with someone. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, are going through nighttime there or like morning time, but... I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day, whether that's night or morning. And if you're gonna sleep, hope you have a wonderful sleep. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have two podcast-like videos coming. With uh, b basically, it's gonna be a collab. So look forward to those. Um, and hopefully, like one of them is gonna be a holiday special. The other one might take like you know we still haven't recorded anything, so uh, it's not gonna be like in this week. But look forward to those. Uh, we have some sick stuff for you guys to uh, tune into. Anyway, um, have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time, whenever that is. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.